What's wrong with this picture? Well, I shoot left-handed, and this is a right-handed rifle. Well, it will work, but it's not optimal. Now, Mark Malkowski, you have the same situation I do. You shoot off the left shoulder, right? Right. I'm uh, left eye dominant, and that's the best way I shoot. Well, exactly. And most of us can't do anything about it, but since you're the president of Stag Arms, you actually could do something about it, so you created this one, right? I did. I created the world's first true left-handed AR. A left-handed AR. Look at this. Everything's over here on the left side. So talk to me about what makes this a left-handed rifle. Well, it's left eject, so you have the um, left door, left forward assist, and all, everything shoots off to the left side, clear away from your face, mm -hmm. and uh, it's a lot more comfortable to shoot. And you said if you want to, you could even go even more left-handed by adding accessories. Yeah, we offer um, an ambidextrous magazine release. We also offer ambidextrous safety, although this one comes with a left-handed safety. Okay, and this is the number one in yep. the right-handed version and the one L here. We might just compare the two. I mean, they really are mirror images, aren't they? Yes, they are. So everything is just flipped over. Probably not an easy process in manufacturing, at least not as easy as we might think. No, it's not. It's, it's a complete different um, upper. It's really the complete upper half that separates this from a right-handed one. Well, if it's an upper, then could we get a left-handed upper and put it on an existing AR lower? Absolutely. What we're finding is a lot of people have had um, ARs for years and years and just didn't like shooting them. Right. And even if it's not our brand um, lower, they can go ahead, buy the complete upper half, right. put it on there, and now they're shooting a much more comfortable, safer way. And as examples, of, we are the great examples of it. You don't have to be left-handed to be shooting off the left shoulder. It's all about which eye is your dominant eye. That's right. Okay. Now, I know that there are people looking at this and saying, yeah, but you know, I really want a flat top. You know, and this has the handle on it. You might show how easy it is. Well, it's very simple. It's just removing, loosening these two knobs right here, and it just comes right off. You can go ahead and put um, backup sight. You can put an optic on here, um, and it's ready to go. If you put, and for those who don't know, if you put an optic on here, say you got put a rifle scope on here, this front sight will disappear when you're looking through magnification, right? That's right. But if you put a red dot sight of some sort, you can co-witness, which just all that means is you're lining up the front sight and the dot, or depending on the height of the dot, you may not need to, you just sight in with the dot and just ignore this completely. Exactly. So you have tons of options. And then of course, as with all of your ARs, you can swap out you know, the forearms, you can do all the, the things, we call it the Swiss Army knife of rifles, because you can keep switching it up. Yeah, th there's nothing limiting you here at all. This is all very easy to, to change and to make completely your own. Well, I gotta tell you, from my standpoint, and a whole bunch of people I know who are right-handed but shoot off the left shoulder. We appreciate what you've done here. I know you did it for yourself, but we appreciate it too. Thanks, Tom. A long time ago, the military actually made everyone shoot right-handed, so it's no wonder that the AR-15 M4 platform is really a right-handed gun. It's designed for that, designed by right-handers for right-handers. Well, lefties rejoice. Stag is making left-handed guns. They've been doing it for a while now, and that really helps you run this gun, especially if you go into a class and uh, you're going to notice a difference when you're shooting a left-handed gun. What you have is the safety is a left-handed safety, not an ambi safety, mind you, but a left-handed safety, which I kind of like because uh, sometimes an ambi safety can get in the way. And then you have, of course, the ejection port on the other side, uh, your forward assist on, on the other side. So let's just shoot this a little bit and kind of show you what it's all about. Well, that's nice. Normally, when I'm running a right-handed gun, I have to run it with my thumb on this side of the gun, and you kind of lose some grip there. But when you have it here, you're able to keep your grip, operate the safety. You have shells kicking out away from you, not across your face, which some people like. So a left-handed AR from Stag, why not? <laughs>